BCC or whatever it is. And then there was the UFC fight early, and then the Canelo fight. So Rogan posted he got the combat sport trifecta, trifecta. in and went to all three of them. One, one of the fighters who won, he's like, uh, hey, Dan, hook me up. I want to go to the Triple G fight. Help a brother out. And uh, I think it was Cormier, you know, who was in, in the ring. He goes, with the bag you just won, you'll be able to afford tickets. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, so that was two weeks ago. Uh, what uh, was last Saturday? That was that was the Canelo fight Saturday. Night. Okay, that was this past Saturday. Okay, who was the main event? Who for Canelo? No, the I know Canelo was. was oh, the, oh, for the main event uh, on Saturday night. Uh, well, Rodriguez was. It was the uh, the Chinese kid. Uh, what's his name? Yeah, I want you to pronounce it. Um, I don't remember who. All right, why you pull that up? Let's talk about the fight that was, happened on Sunday. <laughs> Sagan or something? Let's, let's talk about the fight that happened on Sunday. What fight happened on Sunday? At uh, the New Orleans Saint game. Oh, you're talking about the Mike Evans scuffle? You want my opinion or you want to go first? Um, I'm going to take the side of... Um, now, let, let me just ask you just one thing. Not for the sake of radio, you know, because I know that you try to play this angle and you're stupid and, you know, let, let's just for the sake of this this conversation. Okay. I want your honest opinion. And if we agree, we agree. And if you disagree, you're wrong. But where do you stand? So I stand in the middle. Typical. So so I, I think it's situational. I think in a combat sport of football, the, the, okay. I think I think you automatically automatically if that's your enemy, then you better be on my side. Right? Like if, if that's if that's my enemy you better have my back. I agree with you. Right? I agree. But, you know, in relationships and in life and, like, just, like, you know, outside of the like, sport itself, yeah, that's beef between you and him. It has nothing to do with me as a human because there's a lot of really tough guys. Which, which beef are we talking about? That have gone to Hold on a second. Hold on. Which beef are we talking about? The Mike Evans, like, we came up, pushed, and shoved, and, like, you know, defended his player. Like okay. His people. So, so uh, I'm confused. Why? Because I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Mike Evans got suspended right. for backing up his people. Right, and he should have been suspended. Because he came out and he pushed the guy down. He got a fight. Uh, a little more than a push, but I, I loved everything Mike Evans did. Yes. A he, he thousand got it, percent. Got his back. I am a bigger Mike Evans fan today yeah. than I was yesterday. And he has tattoos. Yeah. whatever. You should get a Mike Evans tattoo. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I like that Mike Evans had not only Tom Brady's back, Fournette's yeah. back, uh, the Buccaneers' back, you know, he did this three years ago, you know, when, when Jameis started, the, you know, the same kind of thing with Lattimore. I love a guy that's, you know, and, and I'm like that, you know, and that's why you and I have had some personal conversations about, I'll always have your back, just let me know the truth. I'm having that with somebody else as well, but that's another story. You know, as long as I really know, I don't care what you've done. Right. I will always have your back. Sure. But there are penalties, and Mike Evans should be suspended for this upcoming game. Yeah, but if, if this was hockey... It's they, not. They would have got penalized two minutes. Like they have sticks. Like you know, they have more padding in football than they do in hockey. Uh, you know, I, I I think you you just chalk it up as gameplay, as emotion, and you move on. No. Nobody got injured. No. no. Nobody tore an ACL. Nobody like injured their career. No. Like it. Let it go. Tom Brady kind of started this whole thing. You do know that. I don't know how I started. Well, you know, there, there was what should have been, in my opinion, and again, you know me, I, I don't care, win, lose, draw, whatever, should have been a penalty. I felt it was a pass interference. And what it, when it wasn't, Brady made a comment. I think Lattimore made a comment back. Brady then kind of stopped, looked at Lattimore. They kind of, you know, started to go towards each other. Fournette then got in a way. Uh, Lattimore, and they, we've seen the photo, put his hands on Brady. And all of that is still okay. Nothing has really gone out, you know, of, of the line. And then when Mike Evans came back and drilled him, you do have to step down or step up. Now, one of the reasons, if not the main reason, in my opinion, that Mike Evans got suspended is history. He did the exact same thing three years ago to the exact same player. But that's, in that's the exact you, you same need arena. enforcers on your team. Oh, absolutely. You need it. Oh, no, absolutely. I have said... For a long, long time, the biggest thing the Tampa Bay Bucks needed, even more than Tom Brady, when Frank Middleton and Nate Webster and Dwight Smith left the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they didn't have that guy. Right. They need that guy. Yeah. You know who that guy is now? Mike Evans? No. 
Devon, it's White. still Ryan Jensen. Devin White. Oh, okay. It's still Ryan oh, Jensen. Yeah. It's still Ryan Jensen. But so is Mike Evans. And Mike Evans has shown that. And I love it. I love it too. But there's still penalties. There's still consequences. And I believe what I'm about to say. If Caleb gets here in time, I want his opinion. Okay. I believe that scuffle won the game for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. For sure. People are like, no, the defense won. No, getting Lattimore off the field won. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, the team then stepped up. Then a perfect pass. Yeah. You know, to parry men. To, that's what the goat does. No, that's what the dope. The dope. That's what the goat does. Now that Lattimore's off the field. But now, but now you got a guy, an enforcer, that you're not going to come acting crazy now because you know that Mike is willing to take suspensions. He's willing to like punch you in the face on the field. Like, and, and I think Mike is a guy to take you to the parking lot after the game and be like, yo, this is real. I, I believe and that, that Mike is different than me. He's different. Well, well, I'm saying with me, I'll start crap, and then it's over as soon as the game's over. We've talked about this. I've had issues on a field, and then we played that same team four weeks later, and they're like, there's that guy. I'm like, oh, have we played? Mike Evans doesn't let it go. I don't think. I think that history with him and Lattimore, and I loved what he said in the locker room. Lattimore took uh, his emotions a little too far. <laughs> yeah, like, what? Well, well, shocking. Um, but the, the tragedy ended up is they'll probably end up getting traded to the same team in the year's future, and they're all like, like, yeah, we had to talk it out, and, like, you know, we, we both grew up and matured, and now we're on the same team. Because <laughs> well, that's the way it usually works. That's the story. That, that that's is. how it works in the NFL. No, well, that's how it works everywhere. Huh? You know, uh, one of the few teams, what is the few team that I've always said I'm a fan of? What is the one team I've always said I'm a fan of? The Phillies. The Philadelphia Phillies. So Lenny Dykstra played for the New York Nets. Hated his guts. Hated everything about him. Hated that he even existed. And then he became a Philadelphia Philly and loved the guy. Nails. He's that guy. He's Pete Rose. He'll run through the wall or hit a tree. Either one. Or both. He could do both. I don't know. He might have done both. He did do both. But that's that guy. For sure. And every team needs a guy like that. They, every team needs an enforcer. Like, you can't have all the finesse players and, and nobody to, like, you know, take it outside the, the line. So I think it's great for the team. I think it's why we're 2-0. and And uh, now we have a, a big challenge against the Pack. A very big one. But I want a, your opinion on the alleged incident that happened uh, on the plane as the Tampa Bay Buccaneers were returning back to Tampa what happened after on the, the game. Plane? We will talk about that when we return. This is Knockout Radio brought to you by 8 Man Strong and Stapson.